Hi everyone, welcome to this uh, video where we will talk about cloud functions. Uh, today's agenda is what are cloud functions, the benefits, the use cases and the languages supported. So let's talk about what are cloud functions. Cloud functions are simple serverless execution environment uh, for building and connecting cloud services. It is not just for cloud services, you could also uh, give a call to these cloud functions from, uh, from your local environments as well. Uh, so, Cloud functions are simple and single purpose functions that are attached to an e event emitted from your cloud infrastructure or services. So basically whenever an uh, event occurs let's say in your cloud storage or pops up, uh, event can be triggered and on, on that basis the cloud function will actually run and do whatever uh, your codes ask it to do. So this is the basic uh, understanding of cloud function. So let's see what are the benefits of actually using the cloud functions. Okay, so first thing is it's serverless, so you don't have to worry about managing the infra or any of those problems. So that's the best thing. It's easy to deploy. It's like just put your code there. Uh, if you have the requirements or txt in case of Python, you just mention what all things that you need in the code, uh, and it will just build itself and deploy itself on its own. It's also auto scalable, so you don't need to worry about uh, like if there is a sudden increase in, in your usage or something you don't have to worry about it and also if you have to pay per use basically if you get like 1 million uh, calls uh, on, on the particular day you only have to pay for the 1 million calls but if on the other day you get like 10 calls you only have to pay for the 10 calls whereas in case of you have your own infrastructure there you'll be having the problem of you know owning the infrastructure and it would be costlier in the in the long run and also it has integrated monitoring uh, wherein it, it lets you know that uh, okay if well, whether your uh, cloud function is able to actually handle the load uh, it will also give you the logs wherein you will be able to debug if, if at all any issues so these are the benefits for using the cloud functions now also let, let's look at some use cases uh, so th this is not like a, a complete list i have listed down four use cases as of now but there could be many more use cases uh, that you could think of so the first one is a data processing which is uh, you know it will listen and respond to the cloud storage uh, events such as file is created change or remote so basically whenever a file is added to a cloud storage you can have it something like uh, when a file is added or to, to this uh, to this bucket fire a cloud function Whenever a file is changed in this bucket, fire another cloud function. Whenever a file is removed, fire another uh, cloud function. So you could have, uh, you know, all these kinds of uh, functions written, and on basis of event what are happening in, in the bucket, you could actually do processing over over that files. Uh, one of the examples would be, let's say you have a CSV uh, file that is getting added every, let's say, one hour, and you want to do some data processing, and then. Uh, move that data to some other bucket so you can just have a event that get triggered when a file is created in the bucket it will fire this uh, this function and you can do like get this file do whatever changes you want to do and then again write it to another cloud function cloud storage bucket another uh, use case is in in terms of iot so uh, you can have like uh, data to be streamed from hundreds of thousands of IoT devices and you can easily process them uh, so not necessarily they will be always uh, you know giving out data even if they are it is again auto scalable so you don't have to even worry about the infra uh, related uh, problems so this is again a very good use case that you could do next is mobile backend this is something uh, built into cloud functions uh, wherein they have uh, you know provisions that on basis of firebase uh, analytics or database changes you can fire a cloud function so basically if something is added in your firebase database uh, it will give a cloud function uh, trigger to you know run a function so a lot of times uh, developers especially mobile developers or mobile game developers they use this cloud function to do some kind of small processing uh, if they if they want to do on basis of these triggers 
another use case is having lightweight APIs. So let's say you have like uh, 15, 20 APIs, but there are few APIs that are not very tightly coupled with your project and they could be, uh, you know, kept outside your project and uh, you need kind of uh, auto scalability and all the Google Cloud benefits, Google Cloud Functions benefits that you can have only that function deployed onto the cloud function and, uh, you know, it will auto scale every time so that that wouldn't be an issue so some lightweight APIs you can always have it outside your main program now let's look at what are the languages supported so it, it suppose all the uh, languages that are like mostly used right now Node.js, Python, Go, Java, .NET, Ruby as well as PHP so as you can see it has a wide range of languages that you could choose from and overall uh, you know mostly you, you should be able to uh, you know move whatever is there in in your own organization or any of the functions that you are already building you can move to cloud functions and if you are trying to build something new you can always choose any one of those so that's it guys uh, thank you for joining in uh, see you in the next video goodbye